Seed purity standards are associated with the quality of the seed. Those 95 and 80 percent germination can give you a very good harvest. Farm saved seed or bin run seed can be a little dirtier. It may not germinate as well. When you plant good pure seed, you get a good crop. When we get seed from any particular company, we identify the quality of the seed through purity and germination. We look for pure seed, we look for inert material, weed seed, and other crop material. So when we look at all of those things, we want the highest percentage of pure seed available. On the farm, the seed can be tested visually. It can also be tested with a small handheld moisture meter. Moisture is very important. If the seed is too wet when it goes into the bin, it can rot. There are all sorts of fungi that will attack it and then you lose your quality seed for next year's harvest. When a farm is saving its own seed, managing the risk goes back all the way to planting that crop to make sure you're harvesting the prime spot of the field to save for seed and make sure you don't have cross-contamination in your combine, your trucks, your wagons, your bin, and make sure that that grain saved out to be seed the following year is kept clean, the moisture is down below 14%, and that will make sure that you have good quality seed to start with the next year. The costs associated with testing for purity and germination are really quite minimal when you consider planting good seed versus bad seed. So for this laboratory, it's $20 for germination and it's $22.50 for purity. That's a real deal.